drink. Wednesday. 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 What brings you around the middle of the week? This is the Bull Morning Show. And here we go. 715. Good morning. Bull Morning Show. It's Boomer and Holiday in the studio with us now. Good morning, Mike Holiday. Did you hear this? That starting today, this is according to Chronicle Live, uh, many McDonald's restaurants going to replace the French fries and Happy Meals with cucumber sticks. <laughs> my kids would probably like that, although they love McDonald's fries. Yeah, my kids would not like that change. <laughs> Jones Machine. Hi, this is Jeff Durall on the job at American Family Insurance at the Curtis Dobb Agency, listening to 1019 The Bull. It's the Bull Morning Show. Blake Shelton and Gunnar. 733, it's Boomer and Holiday, and today we are talking uh, French fries, and one of the reasons we are talking about French fries is because McDonald's is doing a little something different. Chronicle Live says that starting today, many McDonald's restaurants, I don't know if it's happening here locally, but they are going to replace French fries in Happy Meals with cucumber sticks. Oh, no, 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 no. My kids like cucumbers, but I think they like French fries more. Maybe a little bit more? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to the phones this morning to hear from you. What do you got? I think it ruins Happy Meal because you already get your choice of apple slices or gogurt. I'm right there with you. (laughs) It's a Bull Morning Show. Thomas Red and Life Changes. Let's do a DA of the day. The police were recently called to a church because of a woman there. She was screaming about zombies. That'd be scary at church. As the officers approached this woman, they were overwhelmed by the smell of booze. (laughs) The woman then kicked the officers... Uh, And then she was taken to a hospital for evaluation. Uh, She refused to reveal her identity, told the cops she was a princess. And it wasn't the communion wine that (laughs) the cops were smelling. (laughs) No, I think it was more of kind of a screw top. (laughs) She's a a brown paper bag. The Bull Morning Show with Boomer and Holiday. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Sorry. One oh one nine the bull. That's latest from Lee Bryce. Rumor here on one oh one nine of the bull, number one for new country. Boomer and Holiday with the Bowl Morning Show on this Wednesday, May 15th, 8.15, temperatures at 63. Talking French fries today, and also I wanted to make mention, uh, I know both of us fans of this guy and his work, but Tim Conway, we lost him yesterday. I have fond memories of childhood right before we eat supper almost every <laughs> night watching the Carol Burnett show. Yeah, so do I. And Harvey Corman and um, Tim Conway, of course, Carol Burnett. Just hilarious. I liked when they they cracked up, and Tim Conway could usually keep a straight face. He could keep it together, and he had so many characters. The Apple Dumpling Gang was one of the movies I remember going to see him and Don Knotts. Yeah, but uh, one of my favorite characters was uh, Tim Conway, and the uh, he was Mister uh, Tudball, the boss, and you had uh, Mrs. Wiggins. <laughs> What in your wildest imagination, and I doubt the very much if you have one, since there seems to be nothing into that skull but the wind. <laughs> Are you doing? Why don't you erase the dead thing on there when they make a mistake instead of tearing that paper out? You know that the paper doesn't grow on the trees. <laughs> can't use my eraser because it fell down in there. <laughs> now why don't you reach down in there with the one of your frog paws and pull it out? <laughs> Guess what day it is, huh? It's hump day. Woo-hoo! This is the Bull Morning Show. Now it is time for a lame joke to go. My dad suffers from short-term memory loss. I hope it doesn't run in the family because my dad has it too. <laughs> that joke cracked me up. <laughs> Wait, what joke cracked me up? (laughs) (laughs) That is your lame joke to go. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. We'll be back here tomorrow for head of the class. It'll be our next to last head of the class for the 2019 school year. This is the Bull Morning Show. Just when you think this show is terrible, something wonderful happens. What? It ends. Ah. 1019 The Bull.